This is vlog three in practical techniques and strength conditioning, where I'll be discussing my own personal coaching philosophy as a strength and conditioning coach. My coaching background has been within female football academies. By still being involved in playing football at a professional level, I still am learning from being in the athlete's shoes and seeing it from that side of things as well as being a coach. The main points that I look to make sure I do within my coaching is to make sure the athletes enjoy the session by finding ways to engage them throughout and getting the most out of that individual or group of athletes to help them become the best they can possibly be. I think this is important and this is why I love coaching, to see individuals improve physically and to see how that can have an effect on their sport and ability. Coaching, whether it be within the weight room or field-based practice, I have my core values that I like to implement from both sides the coach and the athlete, which will allow them to get the most out of the session. Hard work, determination, belief and trust are the four main points that I will break down into more detail in the next few slides. Throughout my time within coaching, i found that within sporting environments, giving your all within a session is something I've grown to expect from both myself and the athlete. This is something that I try to make sure I give every session, whether it's within Preferring the athletes' programs in advance, attention to detail within athletes' technique, or analysing athletes during and after sessions. Group sessions are harder to give every athlete your undivided attention, so in this case, I try to encourage athlete to athlete coaching where they'll be able to watch their own partner to have a second pair of eyes to help them if they're doing it wrong. This, I find, also helps with engagement of all athletes and to keep enthusiasm high throughout the session. Hard work for me, for the athlete, comes from not just giving 100% in each exercise that is given to them, but also being 100% focused on the session. I see this as a very general point within sport and can be affected by many different factors within sessions. When I'm in any coaching environment, whether it be in the weight room or field-based sessions, I make sure that the way I approach the session is with high energy, enthusiasm and positivity, which I feel improves the intensity of sessions and in turn hope, hoping that it rubs off onto the athletes that come in. I think this is important for me as I want it to be a positive, open and an enjoyable environment. There are a lot of different characters within the sporting world, but for me, especially when I'm coaching within youth age groups, there are a mixture of different personalities, some being quite shy, timid or nervous to express, express themselves within a group environment. So keeping things fun and positive and interacting with all allows for athletes to be motivated to perform in that environment. Goal setting is something I use for athletes, whether it be short term goals, for example, increasing weight within the back squat used within a certain amount of time, or a long term goal, for example, improve their 10 metre sprint time. This for me has shown me that this increases the motivation of athletes as it's something that they can work towards and by also adding in what type of exercises can help them reach their goals, allows the athlete to want to push harder and get them closer and closer to where they want to be. Showing them why this can be beneficial to them within their sport can only help this process. I aim for all my athletes to be addicted to progress and improve themselves day in day out to achieve their potential. Within a sporting environment, athletes need a huge amount of confidence in their own ability. I find it similar within a strength and conditioning environment, not just on the field or track. For example, an athlete going in for a new 1RM squat PB needs to have the confidence and the belief that they are capable of completing this task. Within my coaching philosophy, I believe that giving athletes the belief in their own ability by telling them that they can do it or even just offering a bit of positivity can go a long way. I think as a coach, sometimes people think of the physical side of our job, such as analysing, programming and coach exercise techniques. But when it comes to being a sporting environment, there is a huge psychological and emotional side. Having that emotional connection with somebody you are coaching by showing them that you believe in them and that you want to help them succeed is something that any athlete would thrive on. This ultimately is a big part of any type of role and something that can completely change an athlete's mindset within the practice. Trust is key to having a good relationship with athletes, which can come from good communication. This is essential within sport and I find when planning programmes for either groups or individuals, making sure I explain precisely what they need to be doing in advance of the session is important to get the most out of the athletes. Engaging them in these sessions but allowing them to be prepared for ex for example for fitness tests or 1RM tests is important for them. I found being honest and keeping athletes always in the loop of what is happening and why we are doing certain things within their programmes, you gain more trust and understanding. If there is no trust between athlete and coach, this could have a big downfall in athlete participation and regardless of whether your programme can help improve them, psychologically the athlete is not going to give 100%. 
You do not want to lose your athlete mentally because of the lack of trust within your ability to provide correct practice or even purely just the disapproval of your practice methods.